Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about payable addresses in Solidity. So in the previous video, we have seen how to make a contract payable in nature, right? Whenever we make a function payable in nature, then we can receive Ether to our contract address. And in this video, we are going to see how we can transfer Ether to some externally owned account. So in the last video, we have transferred Ether to contract account. And in this video, we are going to transfer it to a EOA account. So let us create one function in order to do that. So I will create one more function, uh, send ETH, ETH, okay. And in this, I will provide the address of the receiver, receiver, okay. And then I will make this public. And then I will have my uh, curly braces. And inside this, I'm going to transfer Ether to this particular address. Now, in order to transfer Ether to this particular address, I need to make this receiver address a payable address. Otherwise, this receiver address will not be capable enough to receive Ether or to transfer Ether. So let's say if I will do receive for, okay, dot transfer. So this is the method by which we are going to transfer Ether to our receiver address. And inside this, I will have message dot value. So if you remember, from our global variable lecture, I told you, right, that we will talk about message.value in our payable video. So now we are going to talk about this message.value. So I will tell you what is this message.value. But for now, if you will see, we are actually having one error. And the error is that receiver address cannot use send or transfer function. So send and transfer function are only available for objects of type address payable not address so what this warning is actually saying what this error is actually saying is that your receiver address is not capable enough to receive ether or to transfer ether let's say okay in both the cases this receiver is not capable enough now in order to make this receivable receiver capable enough i need to use payable keyword with this receiver so now once i have used this payable keyword with this receiver now you can see that there are no errors now we have a different kind of error that is that if you are using message.value okay so you will see that message.value can only be used in payable public function so if i want to use this message.value global variable inside this function i need to make this function payable okay but this again i will say when i will going to, when i'm going to call this send eth function it will transfer ether to this receiver address and we can see that so let's say I will select this address as my receiver, okay? And this address is going to transfer some ether to this receiver address. So let's say I have selected 10 here, okay? So 10 ether will be transferred to my receiver address. So if you will see receiver address, currently it is having 99.99 ether. Once this function will be called, so 10 ether will get detected from this account and will be transferred to this account. So now I have this 10 value here and this 10 value, whatever value I'm going to write here, this value will be here. Okay. So if I'm going to write 20, so this message dot value will be having 20. So like message dot sender, right? If you remember, whatever value we have here, message dot sender will be having that particular value in the same way, whatever value we will have here, message dot value will have that particular value. So now what I'm going to do is, okay, let me delete this previous account. Okay, no, that was not the previous account, right? Okay, let me deploy this once more the, so that, uh, you know, we have no confusion. Let me deploy this. Okay, so now we have this new contract and now I'm going to transfer some ether uh, to this particular account. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this send eth function. So this transaction is successful. And now when I will see uh, this account, you can clearly see that 10 ether is directed from this account and 10 ether has been transferred to this particular account. Okay, so this is how you actually transfer ether from one address to another address. This message dot value, as I said, is the value, whatever value you are going to have here, that value will be in this message dot value. And we can check that as well. Let me have, let's say, uh, 50 ether here. Okay, so I'm taking all the uh, balance of this account and I'm going to transfer it to this account. Let's say I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste this here. I will send it. So this transaction is successful. So if you will see now it is having only 9.99 ether and this account is now having 150 ether. Okay. So this is how we actually transfer ether from one address to another address. So remember that whenever you want your address to receive or send ether, you have to make your address, you have to make your address a payable address. Okay. 
so this is something you have to remember so i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel so meet you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye and do not forget if you have any doubts please comment below okay